So as a lot of people might know, uh, this part of Australia has just been through uh, the worst flood in history. Um, and uh, the cleanup's begun, anyway. I managed to salvage this mower from the 2017 flood, so hoping I can save the poor old girl again. But we'll wait and see. Uh, was under for three days, so not hopeful, but first thing I'm going to do is just pressure clean all the mud and crap off it. You would not believe how bad it stinks. First thing I've got to do is drain the oil out of it. Yeah, water, <laughs> not oil. few smatterings of oil in there. There we go. Let that drain for a bit. Oil filter <laughs> soaked in water. So that's drained the bulk of the oil out of the uh, dipstick tube slash oil filler, but there is a drain plug on the bottom of the motor here which I'm just going to pop out now and leave it sit over a pan overnight. Next up I'm just going to pop the plug out so I can crank that thing over a little bit and get some of the uh, water out of the cylinder. So it's actually the next day now. Uh, my phone decided to have a hissy fit I don't know how much I'll be able to salvage of the footage from yesterday, but I had to switch to another. But at this stage, uh, all I've done is drain the water slash oil mix out of it and uh, pressure clean all the mud off it. So I was looking in the fuel tank yesterday. Amazingly, I think it's actually stayed clear Very little in there and it still smells good, but I'm going to drain that anyway. Oh yeah, there is water in that. Yep, good thing I drained that out, so I'm going to have to drain the carby as well. So with that air filter housing off, you can see the drain plug on the carby bowl here. See what a little bit of water in there. What I'll do now is force some air into the fuel tank, which will push any water in this through and out the bowl there. hard to do this one-handed without a camera stand but you see all sorts of garbage coming out of that now so now that I've uh, drained as much of the crap out of the sump as I think is possible I've put that drain plug back in underneath and I'm gonna run it for about 10 minutes if it runs with uh, some fresh oil in it and then drain it again amazingly this uh, survived the flood <laughs> with the lid intact so it's still nice clean fresh oil so it'll do well for a flush so i'm pretty happy that the carb and fuel tank and fuel lines are all now cleaned out another one i forgot to film was uh blowing all the water out of the primer bulb um, so I'm pretty confident now the fuel system's dry, so next up i just got to make sure that it's uh, got plenty of spark. So now it's full of fresh oil again. Uh, just check for spark and it's weak and intermittent, which is 
probably because this thing has gone all rusty. So I'm going to run the uh, wire brush over that and if that doesn't fix it this will need removing and sanding in here. The other concern was whether the kill switch here was working or not but now that I've uh, wire brushed that a bit and turned that kill switch on you can actually see it does have spark again so we're almost on track. So the plug's back in, air filter assembly's on. Basically just have to screw the top back on, put some fuel in it and see what happens. It lives. <laughs> Not bad for a Chinese copy Briggs and Stratton. <laughs> I'm going to let it run for about 15 minutes. Just get nice and hot so that oil will boil out any moisture. I'm actually going to put it to work and mow my lawn. Just starting to run out of fuel, but cutting like a champ. So once that cools down now, uh, give the oil a change. There are lots of uh, mayonnaise on it. Uh, lovely. So now while it's nice and hot, I'm going to drain the oil out. You can see all the milky residues rising to the top. Mm, look at that. <laughs> I'll get all that out and same drill I'll pop the um, drain plug out of the sump and let it drain overnight so this is why you need to do multiple oil changes as you saw that was fresh clean oil straight out of the bottle and only run for about 15 minutes may even need another flush after this one we'll see what drains out of it overnight so here's a good example of one problem that can crop up yeah, it wasn't out of fuel. What's happened is the uh, needle and seat in the carby have just obviously got a little bit of rubbish uh, pulled in and jammed. So the, uh, that's all fuel dripping out of the carby because it won't shut off. So tomorrow's job will be pull that carb down. But for now I've got to drain the rest of that fuel out of it. So it's been about five or six days since I was last working on this. So. It's had plenty of time to drain. I've just been absolutely flat out uh, cleaning out houses for people and getting back to work, cleaning the farm up. 
Um, I've actually got some more toys to play with. I couldn't stand to see these go into landfill. Uh, Ryobi battery powered line trimmer and mower. I initially just grabbed them for parts because I bought the exact same line trimmer and mower for my mum, but uh, just put a battery in them and <laughs> both of them still work fine. So just need to clean all the mud out of them. This line trim is so new it still has the tag on it. <laughs> oh well. Um, so anyway, not much more is drained out of this. It's mostly just clean oil. A little bit of moisture there, but so I'm going to fill that back up with oil and just give that carby needle and seed to clean out. So there was a little bit of rubbish in the bottom of the car bowl, but nothing too sort of too much to worry about. A little bit of gunge in there, but I've blown it out with brake clean and all I'll need to do now is uh, blow the fuel lines out with compressed air and I think should be good to go. I was actually able to mow my lawn all over again. That's how fast it grows in six days around here. Still got a little bit of a pop and spit once it gets warm, so I might need a new spark plug. Still got the uh, Chinese Chinesium spark plug in it, so that's never been replaced. I bought this mower new in uh, early 2017, and uh, it's never had a new spark plug. So for anyone wondering what's inside these battery powered mowers, uh, that's about the extent of it. Wires to the battery uh, pack there, little control module there on your motor with a switch up there. And this little dinky weight in the front just to keep the nose down. There's no weight to these. Um, so I'm just going to give that motor a quick clean out and uh, actually has grass growing in it <laughs> well, all the rest of this water out and uh, have a good uh, battery powered mower so there you go I've revived a perfectly good mower that pretty much the entire community at the moment are throwing out into landfill and you wouldn't read about it Another day, another Ryobi battery mower, only this is the big daddy. Um, that's the 36 volt one. Uh, for, these are much bigger, 46 versus 33. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't see the catcher with it, but I'm sure the battery and it's probably toast, but hopefully I can get that one going. So I just had a look and they retail for 500 bucks. Anyway. Thanks for watching everyone.